Okay. In our video series on infectious medicine, in this video, we'll be talking about hepatitis C virus infection. We'll discuss that what is the presentation of hepatitis C virus infection and how is it transmitted. We'll discuss it how do you diagnose a patient with hepatitis C virus infection and how do you treat a patient with hep C. First of all, hepatitis C virus is an RNA virus and it presents as either acute hepatitis C or chronic hepatitis C. Acute hepatitis C is the one in which the infection lasts for less than six months. 30% of the patients clear up the infection within six months and that is called as acute hepatitis C. If the patient is having infection longer than six months, that is called as chronic hepatitis C virus. And 70% of the patients with hepatitis C virus develop chronic hepatitis C virus. So you can remember simply as hepatitis C, C for chronic. This is a, a virus that develops chronic infection. Transmission of hepatitis C virus occurs mainly through parenteral route. Needle sharing, IV drug use can result in hepatitis C virus infection. Needle stick injury in healthcare worker has 1.8% chance of transmitting hepatitis C virus. Organ transplantation is also a route of hepatitis C virus. Sexual transmission of hepatitis C virus is very rare and it can only occur when there is some uh, serious damage to the genital area that in which there is a contact of fluids with the blood. In that case, hepatitis C virus can be transmitted. Otherwise, sexual transmission is rare. It's the hepatitis B virus that is transmitted mainly through sexual route. Perinatal route, vertical transmission from mother to infant during birth can also result in hepatitis C virus transmission. Coming to the presentation of hepatitis C virus, incubation period of hepatitis C virus lasts from two weeks to six months. In acute course, it is asymptomatic in 80% of the patients. And if the patient develop a symptomatic phase, in the symptomatic phase, patient develop malaise, fever, myalgia, body aches, and due to damage to the liver, there is right upper quadrant pain, tender hepatomegaly, and jaundice. Jaundice with pruritus that occurs due to the excessive bilirubin accumulation that leads to pruritus and a physical examination finding in chronic hep C patients would be that these patients would be having polished nails due to excessive scratching of the skin, their nails would be polished. That is an examination finding in a patient with hep chronic hepatitis C virus and that pruritus occurs due to bilirubin accumulation in the blood. 70% of the cases of hepatitis C virus develop chronic infection. Especially it occurs in asymptomatic individual. If a patient got hepatitis C virus infection and he did not develop any symptoms in the acute phase, that patient would not seek any medical care because that patient would be feeling healthy. That patient would be feeling all right and he won't seek any medical care. Therefore, he won't be tested for hepatitis C and that patient would ultimately have an infection greater than six months. That patient would be develop a chronic hepatitis C infection. So it specially occurs in asymptomatic individual and these patients either have no symptoms or even if they develop any symptoms, the symptoms are very mild. They include chronic fatigue and malaise, nothing else. These patients with chronic hepatitis C virus develop liver cirrhosis in up to 25% of cases within 20 years of infection due to chronic liver damage, chronic liver injury, and they can even develop liver cancer, hepatocellular carcinoma. These patients with chronic hepatitis C virus develop extra hepatic manifestations. Hepatitis C virus triggers the immune system and that immune system damages the body itself. An autoimmune reaction due to immune complex deposition in hematological system, what you would see, you would see mixed cryoglobulinemia. Remember cryoglobulinemia for hepatitis C, C for cryoglobulinemia. Hepatitis C causes cryoglobulinemia. In cryoglobulinemia, what happens is that the antibodies are formed against hepatitis C virus, IgG antibodies, rheumatoid factor antibodies, and these antibodies bind to themselves and they deposit in the vessels. That is called as cryoglobulinemia. These patients with chronic hepatitis B virus develop porphyria cutanea tarda because hepatitis C virus causes decrease in uh, decarboxylase, porphyrin decarboxylase enzyme that results in buildup of porphyrins in the blood. And when these patients go out in sun, they develop a rash. They develop vesicles on their sun exposed area that is called as 
porphyry cutanea tarda photosensitivity they ultimately develop diabetes and they can also develop polyarthritis nodosa so these are some extra hepatic manifestations and they develop due to the immune complex deposition due to autoimmune reaction against the body coming to the diagnosis of hepatitis c virus diagnosis of hepatitis c virus is made by the antibodies detection in the blood antibodies that are formed against the hepatitis c virus are detected in the blood through elisa and these antibodies are detectable 8 weeks after the infection because when the infection has entered it takes some time for the antibodies to form against the infection and these antibodies are then detectable 8 weeks after the infection positive anti hcb antibodies are seen in acute cases they are also seen in chronic cases and if and they are also seen in previous hcb infection cases the patient who had hcb infection they also have antibodies against the hcb infection if you do elisa for hepatitis c and the antibodies turn out to be positive then the next thing that you have to do is that you have to do a pcr for hcv rna you detect the rna in the blood you see how many copies of rna are there in the blood and if the pcr of hcv rna comes out to be positive it means that antibodies are there and the rna is also there in the blood it means that this is an active infection the virus is replicating in blood the patient is having an active hcv rna virus and if the hcv rna turns out to be negative then it means that there is no active infection the virus is not present the virus rna is not present in the blood the virus has been cleared away by the antibodies so it shows a previous hcv infection so if the pcr of rna is positive it is active hcv if the pcr for hcv rna is negative it means that is a previous infection the virus has been cleared away it's just the antibodies that are present the blood in some cases what happens is that the hcv rna titers are very low to be detected by a pcr the hcv rna is present in the blood but that cannot be detected by the pcr because the titers are very low if you suspect that that patient is having low titers and that patient might have a reactivation of hepatitis c virus due to that small little amount of hcv rna present in the blood that cannot be detected you need to monitor that patient for one year by a pcr that even if that patient develops a uh, positive uh, hcv then that patient must be treated for it pcr for hcv rna is also important for detection of the specific hcv genotype hcv has different genotypes and those genotypes are numbered according to the numericals 1 2 3 4 5 6 so you detect the exact genotype so that you can provide the patient with exact genotype treatment other than that viral titers can also be detected the hcv rna copies can also be detected that how much virus has proliferated in the blood and inflammatory markers ferritin are also detected ferritin is raised in icv cases and a raised ferritin shows poor prognosis you need to do lfts in these patient in lfts you look for ast and alt ratio ast to alt ratio will be less than 1 in acute hepatitis case because alt is elevated much more than ast in acute hepatitis viral hepatitis case in viral hepatitis alt is elevated thousands of times so the if the value will be thousands and alt will be elevated and the ratio will be less than one in acute hepatitis case what happens in chronic hepatitis case that these enzymes will be lost from liver because the liver has been damaged after 6 months the patient will be having chronic infection and these enzymes will be lost and the alt will be now lower the ratio will be now greater than 1 and the transaminases these alt and ast levels will be less than 100 they will not be in thousands now you test the synthetic function you check the total protein the total protein will be low because the liver is unable to produce protein now pt will be elevated because the clotting factors are produced from the liver and liver is damaged bilirubin will be elevated there will be mixed hyperbilirubinemia you also screen the patient for hiv hepatitis d virus hepatitis a virus because that patient can also have a co infection with all of these i have talked about all these viruses in detail in my in videos on infectious medicine lectures you can check out the link in the description below 
A simple way to remember hepatitis C serology is that if the antibodies are negative and HCV RNA is positive, that shows an early infection. Basically, as I said that when the virus enters the body, it takes some time for the immune system to develop antibodies against it. It takes almost eight weeks for the antibodies to produce and to be detectable in blood. Therefore, if the antibodies are negative, it means that the virus has just entered the body and the immune response has not yet elicited against it. It is less than eight week infection. It is an early infection. If the antibodies are positive and HCV RNA is negative, it means that it is a previous infection. The antibodies have won. The antibodies have cleared away the infection. It shows a previous infection, a resolved infection. And if the antibodies are positive and HCV RNA is positive, it means that the patient is most likely going to have a chronic course of infection. Coming to the treatment of hepatitis C virus, hepatitis C virus is classified into two groups, acute hepatitis C virus infection less than six months and chronic hepatitis C virus more than six months. If the patient is having acute hepatitis C virus, then our main treatment goal is to prevent the conversion of acute hepatitis C virus into chronic infection because I said that the hepatitis C, C for chronic, most of the hepatitis C virus cases become chronic. Therefore, our treatment goal is to prevent transition to a chronic infection. Antiviral therapy in acute hepatitis C virus is the same as chronic hepatitis C virus infection antiviral therapy and I'll discuss that in a while. You have to give antiviral therapy and you monitor the patient regular monitoring of HCV RNA every 4 to 8 weeks for 6 to 12 months. You have to monitor the patient. Our goal is to prevent that from converting into a chronic infection. Now coming to the treatment of hepatitis C virus, the drugs that are given in hepatitis C virus are given in a combination, two or more drugs are given in combination to avoid resistance because if you give a single drug, resistance can be developed against that drug and the patient will develop a chronic infection. So you need to give multi drugs, you try to kill that virus all at once. Drugs are given on the basis of degree of liver fibrosis. The viral genotype that we detected by PCR and the viral load, according to that, we give the drug therapy. Direct acting antiviral combinations are given. Combinations include sofosbuvir, the main drug in the treatment of hepatitis C virus, can be given in the combination with ledipesvir. Sofosbuvir, ledipesvir combination is a very famous combination that is used for the treatment of hepatitis C virus. And it is effective against the genotype 1, 4, 5 and 6. And it has a very high cure rate. The cure rate of this combination is 94 to 99%. Other than that, there is another combination in which sofosbuvir is combined with velpitesvir. Sofosbuvir is the main drug and with main drug, we are adding different drugs. Sofosbuvir with velpitesvir is effective against all six genotypes of hepatitis C virus. Other than that, glecapravir plus pibrantesvir is also another combination that is effective against all six genotypes. So these are the three most important combinations that you need to know about for the treatment of hepatitis C virus in which the first one sofosbuvir ledipresvir combination is the most important one. Other combinations include sofosbuvir, declatasvir, sofosbuvir, semipravir, elbasavir plus grezoprevir. These are very difficult names. So just remember sofosbuvir with ledipresvir. Uh, previously, the combinations that were used for the treatment were interferon with ribavirin. Interferon is the main therapy in hepatitis B virus treatment, as we discussed in hepatitis B virus treatment. In uh, hepatitis C virus, interferons are not preferred anymore. Previously, interferon with ribavirin were used, but now they are no longer preferred. They are used in the cases where you cannot use these drugs or when these drugs are not available. Important thing to remember is that the patient receiving hepatitis C virus treatment should be vaccinated against hepatitis A and hepatitis B virus. Now, as I said that hepatitis C virus treatment depends upon the level of liver cirrhosis, liver fibrosis, the viral load and the genotype of the virus. Now, if the patient is having liver cirrhosis, if the patient is having liver cirrhosis, it has a different treatment, different types of drugs are used for it. If the patient is not having liver cirrhosis or if the patient is having a mild cirrhosis, there are different drug regimens used for it. If the patient is having no cirrhosis, then in a healthy patient, if the patient's age is greater than 18, if the patient has any type of genotype, if the patient has no cirrhosis, sofosbuvir with velpatasvir is given for 12 weeks. Other combination that can be used is glecoprevir, perhaps pibrantasvir for eight weeks.
and if there is patient with cirrhosis and that cirrhosis is a mild cirrhosis child pu a category cirrhosis not b not c that child pu a category cirrhosis with age greater than 18 and any genotype of virus that patient can also be treated with the same drugs so first the we will test we for 12 week glecoprevir pebrin test we for 8 weeks so these are the drugs these are the same drugs that can be used in a patient with child pu a class cirrhosis but what if the patient is having decompensated severe cirrhosis child pu b or c category cirrhosis then in that case three drug combination is used in decompensated cirrhosis child pu b or c sofosbuvir plus velpatasvir combined with ribavirin sofosbuvir lediprasvir can be combined with ribavirin so these are three drugs and that can be combined in the treatment of decompensated cirrhosis they are given for 12 weeks and in decompensated cirrhosis remember you can never use interferon interferons are contraindicated in decompensated cirrhosis as i said that interferons are no longer used for the treatment of hepatitis c virus but but even if the drugs are not available and you have to use interferons do not use them in decompensated cirrhosis these drugs cannot be used in all patients there are certain contraindications to these contraindications to these drugs include concomitant hiv or hbv infection hepatocellular carcinoma history of liver transplant and pregnancy in these, in these patients you cannot use these drugs complications of hepatitis c virus infection leads to ultimately liver failure hepatocellular carcinoma liver cirrhosis secondary hemochromatosis in summary we talked about acute and chronic infection the transmission of hep c the clinical course symptoms of hep c the chronic infection of hep c you detected by elisa you do pcr you do liver function tests and the simple way to remember the serology treatment goals of acute hepatitis treatment of a chronic hepatitis infection so first we were with lediprasvir an important combination then we discussed the hepatitis c virus treatment based on the presence of cirrhosis then we discussed the child pu b and c category cirrhosis treatment contraindications to the treatment and complications of hep c virus if you liked my video please click on the subscribe button and check out my other videos on infectious medicine playlist the link of those videos is given in the description below thank you very much